Welcome to Daron Yoga, everyone. Head and neck. Oh, how many times I've heard that in class. Can we do something for the head and neck? My head is, my neck is tight. It hurts. Okay, so it's very common these days, and part of it is because of things we do in our daily life that create that. So the most important part beyond what we're going to do today is to try and begin to have the right alignment throughout your day. So let's say you're sitting, right? I know this is my virtual chair and you're sitting. Most of us tend to look like this. This means there's a lot of pressure on the muscles holding the neck to constantly support it versus if my head and neck were in the right alignment, <coughs> excuse me, they would have the correct cervical, the correct um, curvature in the spine, in the cervical spine. And there would be just a little bit of a curve, which this curve helps us hold the neck up without too many muscles. So even if I were to work, I would be seated. Really, I the way I do it is I sit down on a block, on a bolster, on a cushion. I don't really use chairs that much anymore. And I would keep my head and neck up here and place the computer in the angle of my screen so that I can actually work like this versus work like this, right? Healthier for the spine, shoulders, head and neck if you do it this way. And most of us spend a lot of the day doing this, right? Even if you were to be cooking, right? You can cook like this, or you can take your feet a little bit wider, bend the knees a tiny bit, and cook like this. Yeah, so part of it, my head and neck is down, but then when it's not down, I lift it up and I look around so that the head is in the right position, my eyes get to relax, I use my peripheral vision, very helpful for my sight as well, okay? So, really notice even walking right classically I would see myself even there was a photo of me a shadow of a photo of me and you could recognize me in the shadow because you could totally see me walking like this my father called me a question mark for years this was painful so now I try to kind of really pull it up pull it up stay up tall without puffing up the lower ribs keeping the lower ribs in Right? So having this basic alignment is the most important thing you can do. Beyond that, we'll do some exercises today to kind of help release it, to help create space all the way from the neck to the shoulder to the shoulder blades, all those areas that affect the head and neck. Okay? So we'll begin by the, doing the, con the very obvious, simple head and neck rotations. We're just going to do them really slow and consciously. So anything we're doing today, we're going to try and do with a positive mind. Let's see how it looks. So I'm going to let my head down and exhale. You can do the seated. That's just as well. It's fine. And then I'm going to inhale. Start to go to the side, really allowing it to go all the way to the side and back. And then exhale. I'm starting to go down. Try not to lift the opposite shoulder. Keep it in place and down. Inhale, reverse direction. And as I'm doing this, I'm just listening a little bit to the sound of my breath. And if thoughts come to my mind, these are mostly like yummy, yummy thoughts of how awesome this is. Keep going. Again, once you reach down, go again towards the left, all the way back, inhale, and exhale down. All right, so remember, this is deliciousness, last two rounds. Instead of thinking, oh, it hurts, oh, it's so tight. Really see how much you can think of it as, wow, I'm so fortunate to be practicing this. This feels so great. Once you finish the last round, come up, move your head a tiny bit to make sure it's relaxed. Okay. We're going to just take a few shoulder rotations. So up, back down, up, back down, up, back down. Okay. A few one at a time, a few forward one at a time. So a note on shoulders, because this is also a very important thing. Many times at the beginning of class, we sit down and the teacher says, okay, everybody lift the shoulders high up and then roll them way back down. This is what it looks like from the back. Up. Do you see that little shoulder blade squishing? When the shoulder blades go close together and squish, that can create pinching in the nerve, which can affect the neck, the arm, the shoulder, even all the way to the forearm. You may even get some numbness if you keep doing it too much. What we're seeking to do is down, 
but yet instead of squishing it back, bring it to the side. So not too forward, not too back to the side. Not too forward, not too back. Okay, and this will create a lot of space, okay? Let's do a couple more shoulder things so we can work on that. So you can take the hands to the shoulders, rotate, right? Notice that you're not doing it from the chest. Keep the ribs in, maybe use your bandhas and try to just move here. There's a whole video on bandhas. Highly recommend you see it. Okay? A few of these and then a few to the other direction. Make sure again, my shoulders are trying to here around the neck, be relaxed as I'm using um, just really these muscles of the shoulders, right? The deltoids. And then back to center. Relaxing. Okay. We're gonna, I'm taking my feet a little wider. It's a little more comfortable. Holding my ear. Again, you can do this seated. That's fine. And just go over. Right. I'm making sure I'm not going forward or back, but just keeping the belly in to support me and just relaxing here. And the other shoulder doesn't lift, it stays in place. So you get a nice yumminess here. Mmm, 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 delicious. Good, good news. Second side, here we go. Holding the ear, lengthening, keeping the shoulder down, and just going to wherever it goes, right? There's no reaching, there's no striving. You just do the practice and whatever happens, happens. The more you allow it to happen, the quicker and deeper it will get. If you fight it, it'll take you much longer. Release. Okay, shake it away. Good job. Okay, so before we go to do some more on the ground, we're going to make sure that we don't have too much craziness in our head. Believe it or not, that can also create tension here. So I'm gonna bend my knees since maybe you didn't do sun salutes or other things to warm up. My feet are quite a bit apart. You can keep them about hip width apart if you like, but don't go too close together. And we're just gonna drop the head and neck completely and relax the arms, shoulders. So everything is relaxing, everything is dropping down. Move it a bit side to side, up, down, around. Make sure your shoulders are completely relaxed. And we're just gonna hang here for a few breaths without so much movement. Last few breaths, if you wanna deepen this, feel free to straighten the legs a little more, feel free to hold the elbows, and again, surrender completely. As if you're allowing all the nonsense in the head, maybe you don't have any, I do, to come out of your fontanella, out of the crown of your head and feed the earth like compost, right? We don't need to hold on rotting fruit. We've got to create space for new ideas, for emptiness, for happiness. Release the hands to the ground, bend the knees and start to squat down. To stop here for a moment, again, try to keep length in the spine. Great, and then come have a seat, any seated position that you like. Really, everything works. Okay. We're gonna lengthen, and we're gonna stretch the side of the body with the neck. So I'm gonna go over to the left side. You can go to the right, doesn't matter. Left hand down, really creating length in the right side of the body. If it hurts the shoulder, keep the hand behind the head. If it's okay, keep the arms straight and long. Eventually reach even further and try to come a little deeper. For some of us this is easy and we're going to bend the left elbow down. No need to do that if it's not easy. Make sure the right hip stays on the ground. And then reach and relax the head and neck. Notice again, same thing with the shoulder blades. We don't want to spin it back, but we want to rotate it in. I call it the ice cream scooping, right? The coconut ice cream. You're scooping it in so there's space between the shoulder blades. One last deep breath here. Great, coming back up. Awesome, good news, second side. Again, you may be even on the fingertips, maybe hand behind the head. For some of us, this is yummy, delicious, intense. Stay here. If not, maybe elbow down, maybe arms reaches, arm reaches. 
space for the head and neck, right? Should be pretty chill here, no tension. Lengthening the side of the body. The left hip goes down to the ground. The shoulder reaches up, creating space. It's funny how our whole body is connected, right? Even lower back issues can affect the head and neck. That's why yoga is so awesome. It really deals with the whole body. It doesn't, doesn't try to isolate something. Even now that we're technically working on head and neck, we're really working on a lot more of the body than that. Inhale, coming back up. Okay, here we go. I'm doing one more time, side to side. And then a little bit back. Just to give myself a little love in here. Whoa. I love this shoulder stretch and it really helps the back. We're gonna do two, at least two shoulder stretches. So we're gonna go down to the belly, okay? And you're gonna take one arm to the side. Let's say you take the right arm to the side and you place it about shoulder height, okay? From here, you're gonna start to move the hips away from the arm and start to turn. I'll show it, here we go, on the other hand now, just that was the setting. So my right hand's to the side I'm starting to turn, I'm moving my hips over to the right, and then some of us will stay down here, and this is deliciously intense. If needed, left knee up, if needed, both knees up. Again, making sure the hips keep moving to the right. I'm feeling lots of spiciness, right? If it's spicy enough for you, by all means, just stay and breathe. You may want to place a pillow, a block, something underneath your head so you can be relaxed. For me, I don't know, for now it's kind of gotten strong enough that it just chills out here. I don't feel any tension whatsoever. But really take care of your head and neck, whatever feels right for you. Last option, hand behind the back. Just breathing there, wherever that may be. Deepening the exhales. Awesome. Second side. Once more, the arm goes to about my nose or eye height on the ground. I start to rotate. Very optional. Hand reaches back. still with your positive thoughts and really remember when you think ah this is great this feels awesome the muscles want to release they want to relax right? when you fight your body and you feel like oh my god I'm so tight I'm so stressed people always ask me how long have you been practicing that doesn't really matter it's how you practice what's your mindset are you thinking positively or maybe you're just neutral just breathing can you be in that place where you're not judging yourself one way or another? Okay. Here's another one. This will help create more space between the shoulder blades. So I'm taking one arm across. This time I have my right hand closer to the body, taking the left arm over it, reaching them both as far sideways as I can, a little back. I'm trying to look. It's hard to see that I'm not leaning on one side, right? The tendency here would be to roll to the right shoulder. So I'm trying to keep them somewhat even reaching my throat forward, my chin forward, so I can place my throat down on my shoulders, on my upper arms, and just really relaxing here. You're welcome to close your eyes. And again, just finding those soft, deep breaths, sending these really good vibes, good thoughts to the whole shoulder, neck, head area, to feel how they're relaxing, how they're softening. And you can even visualize it, right? Visualize tension coming out of your body. Visualize the softness, the space created. Let's take the other side. I'm pulling out the right arm. I'm placing it over the left, walking it across, closer to the body, trying to even out more or less. A little bit on a slope here, lowering down the chin, the throat, 
And again, as I lower it down, sometimes I even give myself a little bit of a smile just to remind myself that this is good. This is delicious. If you come from this attitude, you'll want to come back to do it again. You'll want to enjoy this practice because it will be joyful, because it is joyful. Intensity, sensation do not have to be bad. It could be yummy. One last deep exhale here. Slowly, slowly starting to come out of it. Come back up to sit. Just shake it away for a second. Your arms, head, neck. Yeah, a lot more space. Okay? So even the shoulder stretch, you can even do, do standing up. It's just not as efficient, but you can definitely do that. Do these head and neck circles every few hours, right? Even every hour, just get off of your computer, do that. Move around a little bit, go back. Notice when you're driving, are you driving like this? Can you drive up with the head back? Almost try to lean it back to feel the headrest behind you. This will be a good indication that you've got it right. Notice your shoulders. Can they move back, but not so far back that you've got the shoulder blades um, hugging each other, right? You want to keep a little space there. So you feel, you can literally feel this, right? There's space, there's freedom, right? This is really, really good practice. So again, remember, incorporate this in your daily life. Notice what you're doing over and over again, right? This 20 minutes or half hour or two hour yoga class you need to balance your whole daily life, your 24 hours. So pay attention. One last thing, even when sleeping, right, I tend to like to sleep kind of in a fetal position. And I've been practicing a little bit, sometimes even as I sleep, to kind of keep my head, right, supported and back up. And I found that to be very helpful because, hey, that's six, seven, eight hours of sleep where my head is starting to be more like this in its regular position. It trains me for the day. You don't have to do it, but again, just throwing thoughts of making things very practical and efficient. Thanks so much. If you like it, how do I know if you don't hail like? How do I know if you don't leave me a comment that this is working for you? Let me know if you have other thoughts, requests. Always good uh, to know what you want to see. And subscribe so you don't miss any of this goodness. I love you. Thank you so much. Namaste.